Anastasia.com. Today I'm going to show you how to dye yarn with Kool-Aid. You'll find a lot of things on my website dyed with Kool-Aid since I could never find the exact color yarn I want in the stores. To dye your yarn a single color, you'll need some Kool-Aid and some gloves. Since we'll be microwaving the yarn, I like these Ziploc large containers the best. If you wish, you can use Pyrex glass instead. Kool-Aid packages can look similar, so the key is looking at the glass of Kool-Aid the character is holding to tell you what color the yarn will end up looking like. This one will end up red. Most importantly, you'll need yarn, but not just any kind. 100% wool is the best for this project. Now, you can use a yarn that only has 20% wool in it. However, the color will not be quite as vibrant. Before you begin, cut two pieces of yarn to serve as ties. It's best if our yarn forms a circle. So I like to wind the yarn either around a chair or around my arm. For your first time, just wind about 35 to 50 yards of yarn. Tie the circle of yarn at the top and one at the bottom to hold the circle in place. Next, I like to use baby shampoo to gently wash the yarn. And rinse with lukewarm water. This is not an exact science, but I like to use three packets of Kool-Aid with eight ounces of water and 50 yards of yarn. Feel free to adjust this amount either more or less. Take your still wet yarn and toss it right into the Kool-Aid bath. Next, place the container in the microwave and microwave your yarn on high power for two minutes. The heat helps the dye bond with the protein fibers in the yarn. After two minutes, take your yarn out and place it to rest for another two minutes. Be careful because the yarn and water might be hot. After two minutes, place the yarn back into the microwave and heat it for two more minutes and then let it rest again. Do this maybe once or twice more until most of the color has been absorbed by the yarn and the water is somewhat clear. Then let your yarn cool down completely. Wash and rinse your yarn again. Then either hang it on the clothesline or place it on a towel to dry. By the way, the written instructions for this video are on my website, Nastasia.com. Let's move on to making a hand-painted multicolor yarn. I like filling these squeeze bottles with three Kool-Aid packs and a few ounces of water. I'm never too happy with the yellow dye in the Kool-Aid, so I enhance it with a few drops of yellow food coloring to really make it vivid. Then shake it up. Do this for two or three more colors. Next, take out some plastic wrap and lay it on your table. Then place your yarn in the center of it. I like to place my work in the container now, but you could do it later. Take your squeeze bottle and squeeze out small amounts of Kool-Aid over a few inches of yarn. You might need to press it into the yarn to get it to absorb nicely. I'm moving on to the next color now. It's quite fine if the colors touch, as they will blend into each other. However, if you don't want a muddy brown color to form in between your colors, try to move along according to the order of the rainbow, such as red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Once you are done, wrap the plastic wrap around the yarn the best you can. I do like my colors to blend into each other, so I'm going quickly with this. But you can be more careful and keep them somewhat separate. Into the microwave like before with two minutes heat followed by two minutes rest a few times. And once completed, wash and rinse your yarn and let dry. You might be wondering if you can use just food coloring instead of Kool-Aid. The answer is yes, with one small addition. Kool-Aid has citric acid in it, which helps the dye bond to the proteins in the yarn. Since food coloring by itself does not, you will need to add one or two tablespoons of vinegar to the dye bath first. And the Easter egg dyes the kids use, yes, they will work too with the addition of vinegar. One more thing, if you are only using one color and have a nice sunny day, forget using the microwave. Just place your Kool-Aid and yarn in a glass jar and let it brew in the sun for most of the day to get a very pretty color yarn. By the way, to view this video in other languages, click on the closed caption link on YouTube and turn on subtitles. From there, you can choose from over 100 different languages. I hope this video has helped you. To get updates of my brand new videos, click on the subscribe button on my YouTube channel. 
Check out the description of this video for more information and please visit Nastasia.com for more tips and tricks on creative, self-sufficient living.